Hi, dears. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's Anna with you here, and you are in the recent update on the situation and the recent news from here from Spain and our sunny Benidorm region. Welcome back, and I hope you'll enjoy today's video. So, as for the situation here in Spain, I must say that even though we don't have the exact numbers for the weekend, but the different regions here in Spain still send their numbers separately to the Ministry of Health. And they basically say that the amount of cases is still getting better. However, in the north part of Spain, there is some increase, but it's very, very slight. So it's nothing too concerning. Here in Valencian region, we already have the situation under control, which is amazing. I mean, we, we have like stable amount of cases and the index is less than 50, which basically makes us very happy. And hopefully the situation will get better soon, very, very soon. And tourism and a lot of people will be able to come back to our region. From today, there are some um, measures relaxed in a lot of different regions here in Spain. There are some changes. For example, in Catalonia, starting from today, Monday, 15th of March, people are able to move between different cities and towns and villages throughout the whole Catalonia area. Before uh, today, people were not able to leave their town without any kind of specific reason and very important reason which is not the case anymore. What else is happening in Valencian community here in our region, in Benidorm region, basically? The swimming pools, gyms are open, spas are open as well, together with the showers and the changing rooms, of course. And apart from this, the terraces of bars and restaurants are able to open for 100% of capacity. So all tables are able to be occupied for maximum allowed and the interior so the inside of the place of the bars and restaurants will be able to open with a capacity of 30 percent of the usual maximum amount which is also amazing for our regions it's a huge help for a lot of different businesses that were suffering quite a lot from this lockdown and for people not being able to go to the bars and restaurants but now the situation is slightly getting better Another news that I wanted to let you know about is where here in Spain is the most expensive place to live. A lot of people are thinking of moving to Spain or they are living here in Spain, but they're searching for another place or maybe another town or city to live in. So I've checked it and it's very interesting because the most expensive town to live in is Madrid. It has approximately 15% uh, of more more of costs, different costs for a person that he needs to pay or she than the rest of Spain. So if you want to live in Madrid, you'll have to spend approximately 15% more than the rest of Spain of money. The cheapest place to live in in general in the in terms of the amount of money spent per month is Extremadura and there you will in average spend approximately 13% less than the average Spain. Catalonia is on the second place so Madrid and then Catalonia region are the most expensive ones here in Spain to live and Valencian region is approximately on the 10th or 12th uh, place in this list so basically here in Valencian region it's not that expensive to live as we thought even though we wouldn't say it <laughs> by how the things are here, but at least by statistics, it's not that expensive as in other regions. Andalusia is slightly above us, so it's a little bit more expensive to live there as in the Lensian region. And um, all the other like Balearic Islands and Canarian Islands, they are on the top of the list, so they are also one of the more expensive ones. Canarian Islands are less expensive than Balearic Islands, by the way. This basically shows us that uh, even though we think that living in a huge um, metropolis and huge cities, like biggest cities of the country is very good, you would earn more money probably, the amount of jobs and different areas to work in is a lot um, higher and a lot wider than in the smaller cities and in a lot of different regions here in Spain. But the truth is that living in these cities, even though you will receive a higher salary probably, 
but you will also have to spend more money on the living as well as on the monthly rent or if you want to buy a house for the car, for the light, for electricity, for different goods like food, beverages, um, even clothing. Everything is slightly more expensive in these re regions than in the others like in Andalusia or Valencian community, for example, which is very, very, very interesting. So sometimes living in the biggest cities is not really a solution. What else is happening here in Valencian region? The culture in general, which are basically theaters, some concert halls, museums and a lot of different places for just for inter cultural entertainment are just screaming and uh, basically forcing the government to open again because they have been closed since last year, March. On the 14th of March last year, so basically one day ago, um, it was a year already. So yesterday was exactly one year since we've declared a state of alarm here in Spain and locked us down inside our houses. Uh, and since then they were closed, they were not allowed to open due to the limited amount of people that could go and people were locked down in their houses, so it didn't really make sense to maintain these places open. And what happened is that they basically say that they didn't receive any kind of help from the government, that they um, are simply feeling as abandoned as the most abandoned companies and businesses in whole Spain because there are some helps for tourism sector, for bars and restaurants, and like for food and beverage sectors. There are a lot of different helps for different um, companies here in Spain, and they receive these helps, they receive this money, but the cultural sector here, um, the cultural part of the economy here in Spain didn't receive any kind of help and are not planning to receive one, which is very, very sad to be honest. But they are saying that at least if they don't receive any kind of money from the government, at least please let us open, even though it's with a 50% of maximum capacity. But at least it's something to help these businesses to stay alive and not to lock themselves down permanently. This is basically what's happening here. Another news from our region here in Benidorm region and Alicante area is that we have a huge problem with the um, driving schools. These are the schools that are preparing you for theory and practice exams in order for you to obtain the driver's license. Basically what's happening, um, it's, I think our area is basically the only one that has this kind of big problem right now. There's been a new law that's, um, that's basically stating that you, the person that's examining you for the practice exam cannot make um, more exams than, for example, three or five a day, which is not a lot. Due to this fact, there is a huge queue right now of people waiting to get examined for the practice exam and receive the driver's license. And as for now, the amount of people waiting is 18,000 people. The approximate amount of time that they need to wait is five months. Can you imagine? This is a very, very big problem, especially for students that, for example, just uh, finished school and they want to go and study outside, but they want to get examined for the driver's license first, they have to wait a lot and a lot of them just cannot wait that long, which is very, very sad. Um, these um, different schools for the drivers are um, asking the uh, government to eliminate, to take away this, this law and allow the people who examine um, to um, have a little bit more of exams during one day. For example, instead of three to have like five, six, seven or eight as much as they can, like a normal work day um, in order to lower a little bit the amount of people that are waiting and lower the queues and don't have this huge amount of time, which is five months, in order to finish the last step and get the driver's license. This is basically what's happening here in Spain and in our region for the day of today. As for the Spanish weather, must say that it's still very, very nice, although today we have quite a lot of different clouds on, on the sky, which we didn't have yesterday, but still it's very nice to stay outside, although you need to have some light um, like jacket, blazer, something on top of you, but it's very, very nice um, to go have a walk or just sit down on the terrace, which we can finally do in our region. 
The um, rest of Spain looks like this for the day of today, only there are some clouds on the north part of Spain and the extreme south part, as well as on Menorca. The rest of Spain should be sunny for the day of today. Uh, although, must say that um, the meteorologists, they say that for the end of this week, so from Thursday approximately, there's going to be a new front, which is uh, like the Philomena that we had at the beginning of autumn, of uh, winter. Uh, and this new front will bring a lot of uh, low temperatures and a lot of cold to Spain. So it's going to be very, very cold on the second part of this week. Things might change, might not, but we will see uh, closer to the second part of the week, to Wednesday or Thursday, how things are going to be. And hopefully it's not going to be that cold as they promise. The temperatures here in Spain, as you can see on the second picture, are approximately the same with no major changes. And on the north part of Spain, it's going to be from 6 to 15 degrees. In the center, 11 to 17. Uh, the Mediterranean area and the south part of Spain will have from 15 to 23 degrees today. Maximum temperatures on midday, like at 2 or 3 o'clock approximately. Alicante will have 19, 20 degrees. Barcelona, 18. Granada, 21. Malaga, 19. Sevilla will have 23 degrees today. Madrid, 17. Murcia, which is south from Alicante, will have 20. Balearic Islands, 17, which are Mallorca, Menorca and Ibiza. And Canary Islands will have approximately 21. Valencia, which is north from us, approximately one and a half hour away, will have 18 degrees. And it's going to be sunny in our whole Benidorm region, hopefully, because we kind of had a few weeks that are very, very cloudy, not very pleasant. There was even some rain, so we missed this very, very good and pleasant weather. These were all the news for today, my dears. I hope you enjoyed watching them. Uh, if you did, don't forget to put a like and don't forget to subscribe on the channel right here down below if you still didn't do so. And share these videos with your friends if you think they might be interested in them. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video from our area. Bye!